morning and welcome to our 100th Light in the Darkness Ooh, episode. Good morning, everyone. So I, good to have you with us. It's awesome. 100 it's special, episodes. Special day. Yep. We have done 100 episodes, babe. That is like mind blowing, <laughs> I and think. You are watching from all over the world, 28 plus countries joining in on a regular basis for Light in the Darkness. It is unbelievable. And some of you have tuned in for every single episode. 100 episodes. It's amazing. It's what an awesome. achievement. And we need to actually stop every so often and celebrate and yes. go, look what God has yes. done. Yes. Our team um, in us, I think really God has grown us through this season of 100 episodes of Light in the Darkness. It's unbelievable. And it's in different languages and different continents. Yeah. So many of you watching in Europe, yeah. in Asia, in America. In obviously Africa, it's unbelievable. It's an honor and privilege. And we are going to be talking today in part two about our communion because we literally started Light in the Darkness to minister the Word of God into people's lives Mm -hmm. during the lockdowns that were happening around the world, around Mm -hmm. Corona, and to receive communion together with you, wherever you're watching with your families, every single episode, we have received communion with you. And there's such a reason for that because there is such a spiritual power and authority that rests in the Holy Communion. And to celebrate our 100th episode, we are doing something special. We are giving away 100 copies around the world of Pastor Prince's awesome Eat Your Way to Life and Health Holy Communion book that has blessed Tara and myself. This book is incredible. And you want this book. If you haven't read it yet, you need to get it. Or Yeah, you can win it. So we're going to give away 100 copies. And this is what you have to do to qualify uh, to be a part of someone Mm -hmm. who could win 100 copies. It's going to be really easy. All you do is you share this episode and you tag five friends in the comments below. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Tag five friends that need to hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus, especially that would enjoy hearing revelation about how communion is powerful. So let's get straight into communion. I wanted to talk to you about this. I believe we are living in a very unholy world. And how do we know it's unholy? Because that which is holy is blessed, Mm -hmm. has life, has abundance, has everything that you look at. But when something is unholy, we see it in essence has disease, sickness, has has cursing. That's our picture, right? One has life, one has death. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, in this world, we are not in... Uh, heaven, we're not in a restored, redeemed earth. We're in a fallen world. Mm -hmm. And so we are often engaging and we feel and we behave in an unworthy, unholy manner. Mm -hmm. Often we look at our lives and we say, how do I get closer to God? How do I get God into my situation? We hear people spiritualize, like I need a breakthrough. I need a shift. I need a, even talk people who don't know Jesus speak about karma, energy. They speak Mm -hmm. about all these things. Like you can feel when something's heavy. Well, here's the thing. Communion is the most holy Mm. meal we can eat. And why is it holy? Because what we're allowing God to do is let what He has done, His finished work at the cross, touch us. Why is this a big deal? Because when Jesus walked the earth, He was God, He was all powerful, and He had the ability to do Mm. miraculous things. Mm. But He healed people He touched. In fact, often in villages, he healed all who came to him. Mm -hmm. So when unholy man in our sickness, disease, brokenness, our heaviness, our oppression, depression, touches a holy God in his grace in Mm -hmm. Christ, we are healed. So what we do when we receive of the holy communion is we are letting our holy Jesus Touch us in our weakness, in our inferiority, in our fears, in our failings, and let it bring us to where it is in a holy place. So this is not about tradition. And often teaching has been incorrect from Scripture. And this book will really bless you to show you that it's actually not about studying ourselves, whether we are deserving of healing, whether we are deserving of forgiveness in our ability, but actually discerning whether we are healed in Christ. In -hmm. other words, do we see ourselves healed in Jesus? Mm -hmm. Do we see what he did at the cross as for me? If you were to stand before the cross, seeing Jesus suffer so greatly, 
And Tara shared in our last episode how she pictures when she receives communion, Jesus experiencing the sickness that we might face, Mm -hmm. experiencing the sickness Mm -hmm. on the cross, because the Bible literally describes his suffering on the cross as for our sickness and disease, as if Mm -hmm. he went through it at the cross, right? But imagine standing there witnessing that and saying, it's not enough for me to get healed. No, God wants you to see what he has done for you. So when you discern yourself as being, as being healed by what he did, in other words, is what Jesus has done good enough to heal me? Absolutely. Mm. You bring the holiness of God into your life, mm. into your situation. And it's well-pleasing to the Father. He hey? loves it. Mm. Because, when you receive what his son died to give you. Yeah, because like, think about it. God gave his son yeah. up for us. Yeah. It, I believe God would delight in yeah. the fact that you see Jesus as your answer. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when you have a problem, don't go, how do I fix this? Mm. We spoke about in the last episode, mm-hmm. um, the challenges we've had with yeah. Jonathan's health, but we can reach for medicine, right? A natural solution, which I'm not saying medicine is bad, but yeah. first reach for communion. Yeah. First Amen. pray. First say, God is my source. Amen. Not that we are strong. No. Not that we possess the ability to heal mm-hmm. ourselves, but that when in our weakness, we see ourselves mm. strong because of what Jesus Amen. has done for us. There's actually a, a quote um, in this amazing book that says, um, communion is not about what you need to do. You don't do communion. You receive Amen. communion. Yes. And I think that's very powerful to understand and have an understanding when we partake. It's not something we need to do. Yes. It's something we receive. Yes. We receive the abundance of his supply by what Jesus did on the cross. Um, and it was actually interesting. I've shared it once before, I think, um, in one of our episodes or one of our Sunday um, services. But, you know, for, for many years, um, there were times where I even used to um, pass up on communion in church because I believed you I wasn't in right standing with God. No, you hadn't I, need to, I needed to sort my life out. I needed to forgive some people. I needed to say sorry to God or sorry to some people. And I used to believe that I could actually bring like sickness upon myself mm. if I didn't partake in a worthy manner when actually all the things that were um, weaknesses, lack, sin in my life were the things that qualified me mm. to partake. Yes. You bring your mess yes. and you receive Jesus. Yes. You bring your sin yes. and you receive forgiveness. Yes. You bring your, your disease, your symptoms, and you receive your healing. There's nothing that separates you from His love, mm. His forgiveness, and His healing. Just come to Him with boldness. And, and so everyone qualifies. Yeah. All you need to do is receive. Not do, not perform, not get yourself right. Receive, sit at the feet of Jesus and receive his finished work. While you're saying that, I'm picturing a person on a hospital bed yeah. and we say to them, do medicine. No, the truth is you can be in a coma yeah. receiving treatment. Doctors working around yeah. you, drips into you, literally yes. giving you medicine. And imagine yes. sitting there going, I, I need to do medicine. I need to do medicine. Yeah. No, <clears throat> receive medicine. Yeah. And the thing is, we don't, we don't do We don't earn forgiveness. We don't earn healing. We receive forgiveness and healing. Even the weaker the person, the quicker you get medicine into them, the quicker you get treatment around them. And I feel like in our situations, the devil often makes us think communion is a last resort rather than the first option. When we feel down, when we feel oppressed, depressed, when we feel symptoms, when we feel sick, what's the first thing we do? I actually also love um, what Pastor Prince says. He says, you know, if you're taking medicine, don't stop taking medicine. Take your medicine, but, but take communion before you take your medicine. Because mm. often the medicine we receive for different symptoms and conditions, it's there to help you, but it always has other side effects. Mm. So some, we actually need to take communion mm. to sanctify mm. the medicine we put in our bodies because of the side effects it even mm. has mm. on our body. So take communion, sanctify the medicine you take before you partake mm. of it mm. um, so that it doesn't have the fix and the symptoms and the side yes. effects that it actually puts on our body. And, and there's so much teaching on this, but 
um, even uh, on our on our on our app on our website yeah. and stuff, you can study up communion. We want to encourage you to read this. But I want to say this: one of the statements that's so true to reality, but even further into actually a spiritual truth is that what the world will tell you today is you are what you eat. Mm. Um, what you eat is as significant mm. and even more significant than your exercise and your yeah. this and your that. Like what goes into your body literally deals. In fact, yeah. a lot of uh, doctors will agree with endocrinologists that what goes on in your gut mm. is literally the single most uh, important factor in your entire body's sure. health. And think about that from a spiritual reality. God wants you eating. In fact, what I love about when the Bible tells us about how God prepares a meal, he says he prepares a meal for us in the presence of our enemies mm. at his table. Mm -hmm. And so in the middle of attack, in the middle of darkness, yeah. in the middle of disease and sickness, oppression, depression, economic yes. downturn, stress, fighting, strife, yes. chaos in governments, we sit down in a position of rest yes. and Amen. we eat Amen. the meal God prepares mm. for us. And what is the meal God prepares for us? His precious lamb yes. offered up for us. In fact, even with Abraham, it's offer up your son, Isaac, the son mm. whom you love. Now, Abraham didn't have to offer up Isaac because God provided a ram. What is the heavenly meal God has given us? The body and the blood Jesus. of Christ. In Matthew chapter 26, Jesus says this wow is my body broken for you. In yeah. other words, the land that came before was the shadow, I am the substance. This is yeah. my body. Why is it important that we eat Jesus? Because through his suffering, mm -hmm. we are healed. Through his blood being shed, we are perfect. Mm -hmm. Not our behavior, his behavior makes us perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So we receive Amen that declaration, Amen. that meal that heaven has prepared for us. Amen. And, you know, I really believe in this time throughout the world, the devil thought he had the upper hand. Mm. He thought this virus is going to hit this world. It's going to cause chaos. But little did he know that people all around the world are going to be bringing communion into their homes, that we are going to lift up communion mm. in our homes. And I really believe that we're going to come out of this time mm. with marriages that were better than before, mm. families that are more at peace mm. than before, mm. people mm. that are going to be healthier and stronger mm. in their bodies and in the Lord than before. Amen. Because what happened? People started to lift up the finished work Take in me. their homes, in their marriages, in their families, Amen. over their children. I believe however we entered this Corona period is not how we're going to come out on the Amen. other side. We are going to come out stronger, better. God is setting us up to win, Amen. provision, open opportunities. And I really believe this is really key Amen. in it all Amen. because we're putting Jesus first. We're standing still. We might be still, but we sing Jesus. Mm -hmm. We sing the salvation of the Lord. We sing victory Amen. in what Jesus died to give us at the cross. And I really believe that is what God is doing right Amen. now. Yeah, we're going to come out gainers. We've we been are. saying that. And, and even as a church, we've been working on looking at Joshua and looking at what goes on and goes into mm. the promised land. And a promised land living requires the food, the five times more food that, you know, food we don't grow, we don't sow, living in mm. homes we didn't build. Yes. It's a finished work that Jesus has prepared yes. for us. Promised land living. This is the meal. This is, this is significant in us entering rest. Amen. And so we're going to, we're going to receive together today. We're yes. going to declare. So take out your bread, your wafer, mm. whatever it is that is going to be the body of Christ is your food today. We're going to speak over it. Say, this is the body of Jesus. This is the body of Jesus. That is broken for me. That is broken for me. Every sickness. Every sickness. Every attack. Every attack. I place. I place. On the body of Jesus. On the body of Jesus. As His body was broken. As His body was broken. Mine is healed. Mine is healed. Healing is mine. Healing is mine. Health is mine. Health is mine. Youth is mine. Youth is mine. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now we break this, we receive this. Thank you, Lord. Healing and wholeness in every body that receives, in every home that receives. Now we lift up the juice. We say, this is the blood of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. Shed for me. Shed for me. Every sin. Every sin. Every lack. Every lack. Every mistake. Every mistake. 
every mess, every mess, a place, a place on the body of Jesus, on the body of Jesus, and I declare, I declare His blood. His blood declares me declares me righteous righteous clean clean whole whole perfect perfect pleasing pleasing loved loved today today I let the blood of Jesus I let the blood of Jesus be my defense be my defense be my protection be my protection give me favor and give me favor thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now we receive a Amen. 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 So if you want to win one of the 100 copies that we're handing out worldwide, yes. all you have to do is share this video wherever you're watching it and whichever feed and mm -hmm. comment and tag five friends. Five people. And thank you so much. 100 episodes. 100 Woo! episodes. <laughs> That's it. Okay, 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 okay. That scared me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks and we'll for see watching. you again. Thanks Lada for Zopas celebrating again. with us. 100th episode. God's been good and God has been so faithful during this season. Amen. Amen. Blessings. God Bye -bye. bless you.